By now, most fans of competitive melee have probably heard that Falco's double laser technique from the ledge is That is not safe! Not safe! <laughs> My god! While it's true that the technique can be punished, different members of the cast deal with Falco's double laser in different ways. This video will focus on Marth's anti-double laser tool set, and will explore Marth's ability to counter the double laser, which is something that I believe is a highly underutilized option in Marth's anti-Falco toolkit. Generally speaking, there are two types of universal anti-Falco double laser options available to most characters. The first option works by shielding the first laser, then punishing before the second laser hits. Often this is done by shield grabbing, but some characters have alternative out-of-shield options available to them. The second is to avoid getting hit by the laser. This means crouching below the lasers, or jumping above them, and then punishing Falco afterwards. While these are good options available to Marth, he also has an option specific to his character alone that will lead to a kill 100% of the time if Marth follows up on it correctly. If Marth counters Falco's double laser, Falco will get hit after he's already used his double jump. This means his only available recovery option will be up B. Unlike punishing with the grab, punishing with counter allows for the simplest edgeguarding flowchart when it connects. Hands down, the best option to me is simply to grab the ledge, because if Falco can't make it back, he's simply dead, and if he can make it back, you can aerial from the ledge to interrupt him and kill him. Another great option is to just run off and intercept Falco's up B as soon as the counter connects. You can do this with a fair, or if you want to get a bit stylish, you can do this with an up B. Another strong option is to down tilt, but unfortunately this loses to sweet spot up B, so I prefer option 1 and 2. Finally, you can counter Falco's up B. This is by far the worst option out of the four because it won't necessarily lead to a kill, and often just resets the situation. However, it can be handy if you're slow and want more time to think about how to follow up. So those are the four options. I've attached this image to the description of the video if you want to have it for reference in case you forget what to do. Okay, so now it's time to look at the pros and cons of the technique. Well, for starters, it's a guaranteed kill if you followed up correctly, and it's very easy to execute. All you have to do is hit down B. It's also often easier to convert into a kill than grab because Falco has fewer recovery options off of getting hit. Another nice perk is that it also beats aerials from ledge, like Falco's downer versus ledge. If it connects, then you just follow it up in the ways I already showed you. Finally, you don't need to be facing towards Falco to punish him with counter, as counter works from both sides. Unfortunately, there are a lot of limitations to this technique. For starters, it's a very hard commitment. If Falco doesn't attack from the ledge with laser or an aerial, there's tons of time to punish. And he could grab from the ledge, and you'd get punished anyway because counter only works against attacks, not grabs. Marth also has other ways to deal with double laser. He can shield grab or up B between the first and second laser, or crouch and down tilt. These options are less risky and can also lead to kills. Counter also loses to side B from the ledge and edge cancel side B from the ledge, although Falco may not have time to punish Marth afterwards. I want to make it clear that I'm not suggesting Marth's best option to beat double laser is counter. I made this video to highlight a high risk, high reward option that's very easy to execute while still showcasing other options in the video. Melee is like rock, paper, scissors. Techniques win and lose in a rotating tactical wheel, and finding a one-size-fits-all option is very rare. Personally, I'd recommend using counter if you have a hard read that your opponent will double laser from the ledge, and they're at a low percent, so the risk versus reward is worth it. If you enjoyed this episode of Micro Melee, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Evan Oliver and Cushman420 for helping me record the Falco clips. Thanks so much, guys. See you later. Not safe. Ah, not safe. That is not safe. Martha is able to up the out of shield or grab uh, in between those lasers. You can even uh, counter. You can counter. There's a lot of things you can do, actually. There's, there's some <laughs> frames between uh, those lasers.